reporting live from my old camera. So I am absolutely over my new camera. I think once I get back in the house today for my doctor's appointment, I am gonna be calling Best Buy up because I can't take it. My camera decides when and when it when and when it doesn't want to record. Um, it's been having complications. Like I know I mentioned this sometime last week that I had to go to Best Buy before we went to church. Went back to Best Buy yesterday and Geek Squad. I don't understand the purpose of them. No, no offense to y'all, but he didn't help me any. And he was like, "Well, I just got on YouTube and did some research." Boy, I got on YouTube and did some research. So he was just like, in my opinion, I think you should just return it. He was like, some people have had problems with the Sony A6000, 5000, and 5100. And I have the 5000. So I'm thinking about just returning it and then exchanging it for another one or going for the G7X because I can't keep dealing with this and I need a reliable camera to vlog and to record videos and for when Mason comes. You know, the last thing I want to do is to go in labor and not be able to record it. Not so much for y'all, but for me and my husband and everything. And just to document my daughter being born. But happy Friday. Um, I know you're probably like, where have you been? Half of it's been half of the reason why I haven't recorded a video is because of my camera. The other half is because I have not really done anything in, since Monday. Monday is when y'all saw that Kendall and I went to the dealership. Tuesday, I don't think my daughter likes Tuesdays because I'm always I always seem to be like really sick, like can't leave the bed type sick on Tuesdays. Wednesday didn't do anything. We forgot to go to church. Shame on us. And yesterday, what did we do? Um, I just got up, went to Best Buy, and then went to Tropical Smoothie. There was no, there was nothing fun. But anyways, let me get out the door, and then once I get in the car, I'm going to keep talking to y'all. Right, so I still have some time to chill in the car, because my appointment's at 11.10, and it's 10.30. Take me probably about like 20 minutes to get there. But anyways, um, what was I going to say? So today, I am 36 weeks and five days. Yes, five days because tomorrow's Saturday. Yes, 36 weeks and five days. I'm really hoping that when I get to this doctor that I hear something. Because from the looks of it, unless something's wrong, it looks like I we're just going to let her do whatever she wants to do. And I really feel like Mason has no intentions of getting out. And I can't do this anymore. I am so ready for her to get out. It's considering that I'm going to be full term in two more days, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to to get her out and everything um so yeah just wanted to talk to y'all about um what's been going on so i know y'all saw in a vlog not too long ago that kendall and i went to go look at houses and then um i think i also also answered a question in my q a about buying a house if i'm not mistaken but um so i just wanted to clear that up and just talk to y'all about it so like you know my mom has been putting in our heads you know yeah maybe i should go buy a house and everything like that so okay i'm 24 years old my husband's still in college he graduates graduates in two months um you know, we're young. The only reason why a lot of things are happening, I don't want to say a lot of things like our marriage or anything like that, but a lot. I feel like a lot of reasons why things seem to be speeding up for us a lot is because we have a baby on the way. So things like buying a house has never really been a thought before. So let me explain this to y'all. I have horrible credit. <laughs> I am not ashamed to say that. I will tell you that I was, I'll be that person to get a bill in my name and not feel, feel the need to not pay it. I was very irresponsible when I was in college and I feel like I didn't really have too much guidance as far as like a class or, you know, I also didn't tell my mom a lot of things too. So that also can play a factor in it. But I didn't really feel like I had a lot of guidance when it comes to things like buying a car buying a house paying off credit doing this doing that now I have a lot of knowledge on it because I have debt in my name and I just you know we want to buy a house but I want to do it in the most financially responsible way so I was telling my mom the other day Kendall and I decided that we want to save for the entire year of 2017 try to save at least five thousand dollars with our income and um me also working on my credit so every time i get paid i'm paying off 
one of the many debts that's on my list. And my mom's just like, oh, well, maybe you should go through creditors and just see what they say. And I'm just trying to let her know, like, homegirl, the credit ain't good. You know, but I mean, I understand where she's coming from, too. So at this point right now, I feel like Kendall's credit's really good. You know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like I'm the one that taught him everything. But, you know, I did tell Kendall last year, you know, you should get a credit card, work on your credit, you know, and I tell him pay and do this and everything. Now he's seeing a really good increase with his credit and he's so happy. I wish I could say the same for myself, but I'm trying to get my life together. And I, how many people think it's a good idea for Kendall and I to save for a year, at least to save some portion of a down payment? Because, you know, most people usually don't, usually pay like 10 10,000 at the least some people now but um who thinks it's a good idea for us to save for a year and me work on my credit get it up at least 100 points or so and then um yeah or do you think it's just better to get into the whole thing and then just work with what we got because I don't want my shitty credit to be the reason why we are paying more in mortgage you get what I'm saying we can always refinance down the road but why do I want to pay $1,500 um, mortgage when it could be $800 if I just worked on it a little bit longer? You get what I'm saying? But yeah, let me head off to my appointment, y'all. Hey, y'all, so I'm back from my appointment. Let me just let y'all know how that went. Um, first of all, I lost six pounds in one week. I don't understand how I'm going backwards. My iron's still low. Um, the doctor's telling me, you know, it's to the point that we're pretty much going to have to set up a transfusion for after, before, like right before I had her or right after I have her. And she's measuring fine. Baby's still head down, which is great, great news. And um, pretty much told me if she were to come in the next five minutes, he's not going to stop labor because I'm pretty much full term now. And there's not so much of risk. So what is Dre doing? Dre is walking. I've been in the house all week, like I told y'all anyways, and I really want to get her out of here. <laughs> we didn't check for dilation today. I really forgot to remind him, and his doctor seems to be a little bit nonchalant. So, I'm just walking. I decided I'm going to get up and just walk every day to help this. And then, even if it doesn't, you know, I don't get dilated from it, at least it will help me through the whole process. And yeah, so that's all I'm doing right now. Didn't get any bad news. I mean, well, with the exception of losing six pounds in a week. Like, it's just a little bit ridiculous to me, but it is what it is, so. All right, y'all. See y'all later. Hey, y'all. So, I successfully walked around the neighborhood four times, and I started having some pelvic <laughs> pressure, and then I had to pee, so I came upstairs, and y'all know I live on the third floor, so if I'm up here, mm -mm, that's it. So, pretty much... I'm just going to chill out till Kendall gets here. And um, when Kendall gets here, I'm probably going to ask him if we could walk around about one time. Excuse me, before um, we get in the car and go to the fair. And then we can go to the fair and everything. I'm just really trying to walk and get this little girl out of me. Y'all, <laughs> she needs to come on. I'm just, I'm so ready for it. But I'm um, chilling on the couch because I couldn't even make it back to the room. I am currently watching some vlogs and I am watching our friends. Um, let me make sure their channel because I'm going to say the wrong channel name. Lord Jesus. Because they recently changed the channel. Down with the... Oh, Lord. Days with the Downs. So I'm going to link them down below in my... Um, this in my yeah in my description box please subscribe to their channel and let them know that I sent you my way. Honestly, y'all... I'm watching them because they have two under two. And I really think that's a lot of dedication and time. And I feel like they're handling it very, very well. So I'm definitely linking them down below into the, in my description box. So make sure you check them out. Um, so I'm one, they're one of the people on my subscription box that are my subscription my subscription list that I'm currently watching and then I still have some shows on Hulu to watch this morning I watched Grey's Anatomy but I need to watch um How to Get Away with Murder and Law and Order so yeah I'm just chilling right now I'm ready to go to this fair and eat considering since I lost six pounds you know but um 
Yeah, oh, let me tell y'all about Best Buy. So I called Best Buy, and the guy's just like, you can go and return the camera today um, and then reorder a new camera. So I, that's what it looks like I'm going to do, and then just buy myself a G7X. It's just disappointing because I like this camera, but honestly, this camera compared to this, I like how compact the camera that I'm recording on now is and um, how... Um, light it is this is actually pretty kind of heavy to me so but i'm gonna just get look into the g7x and yeah we'll go from there but i'll see y'all later so we are at the fair Yo. and we parked at least a mile down there and i told kendall i need to sit down and take a break and yes people i'm vlogging follow me <laughs> beautiful Andrea. That's two A's at the end. It's like, let me stop. So I needed to take a little break before we get in here because I don't want my water to break and then I can't get in here because that's going to make me mad. I, I got to get some food before we go anywhere. How is it? <laughs> it's good. What's next? Are you tapping out on me? I can't deal with you. So we just had Italian sausage, some peppers and onions. Ooh, turkey wing. Look at her face, like, I don't know. Happy Saturday. So last night was some shade thrown from Baby Mason, okay? So as y'all saw, we were at the fair. First of all, we had to park, babe, what do you say? Like that's a mile away? A mile and a half. We probably parked about 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 a mile and a half down from the fair so we walked that mind y'all i had already been walking earlier that day so we had walked up there then obviously when we got there we had to do some walking around what irritated me the most about the fair was there really weren't a lot of places to sit down so it's like you had to walk some i'm not about to say some miles but you had to walk some steps and stuff to find somewhere to sit down so last night I started cr like I started feeling like I was about to start my period and I've had cramps before but nothing like that that feeling like it really felt like oh shit let me go find a tampon I'm sorry this team I let me go find a tampon because I'm about to start my period so I called my mom and I just let her know like you know just so you know I'm having some cramps just in case you have to hop down here so we kind of waited it out a little bit as y'all saw, but nothing really happened. Came home, took a hot shower, laid down, and what time do you think I fell asleep, babe? Like 10? Yeah, about 10 then I woke up at 1.32 and did not go back to bed until 5, if not 6. And then now it is, what time is it? 11.51, so I'm up. Been up for like the past hour. So I'm not really getting any rest and... I just wish I knew if I was dilated or anything, but yeah, anyways, so Kendall and I, I just got out the shower. Kendall and I are about to get ready and start our day. I have no idea what we're doing today. What are we doing today, babe? It's the deja vu. It's that Saturday that we just get up and just go do something. Go get some to eat first, though. Yes, I guess we're going to go find something to eat, but yeah, see y'all later. 
So this morning I just decided to go down memory lane and look at my YouTube channel. Like go back to like when I first started watching or recording videos. Y'all, honestly, it's just like I went from being a I'm not a teenager. I wasn't a teenager then. I, I think I was like 21 at the earliest. Yes, I went from being a 21 year old girl. I'm gonna call myself a little girl living on campus trying to finish school then you saw the dynamic of me graduating or you saw me in my last year you know i saw some videos where i was on campus going to lab and stuff like that then you saw me graduating then you saw that awkward period of summertime where i was doing my um i got a new car another new car i was on my internship and then i was really i was really trying to move here then you saw me talk about how I had a crush on Kendall. And then I was telling y'all how I was not going to introduce him to my channel anytime soon. Then you saw me move down here. You heard Kendall's voice for like four months. Boyfriend tag, all of that. And now I'm about to have a baby. This is so crazy to me. I'm married, married, okay? And I'm having a baby. Like, when you just sit back and you just think about everything, it's just like, Wow. Never did I ever think when I was recording and telling y'all I had a crush on somebody that this would be happening right now. I mean, I always knew that I would be a mother and a wife, but never did I think it was going to happen now, y'all. Life is amazing. I, I just thought I had to come on here and share this because I'm still being here. I'm still sitting here being lazy. I have not put on some clothes but anyways it's just it's just so crazy to just look at my journey and it's crazy how a year from now I'm gonna be looking at this and me like oh my gosh I had no idea what Mason would look like or any y'all this is so crazy hey y'all if I look exhausted I am exhausted I'm just <sighs> Not getting any rest last night really doesn't do justice for me. And I'm just so uncomfortable. So we left the house today and my mom called me to um, go to a family member's place in Greensboro. Well, told Kendall and I just wanted to go anyways. Um, so there are these types of greens that um, Liberians eat and apparently it raises iron, your iron level really, really high. So we had to go all the way out there to get it. And now we're back. Um, Kendall's in the pizza store getting some pizza for us. And I'm gonna try eating mine with a lot of roasted red peppers and everything just to get the spice in my life. Hopefully by the time we get back home, I'm like able to go to sleep. Y'all, I'm so like, when I don't get any rest like this, it's not good for me at all. And then I just get so grumpy too, so. Yeah, that's pretty much going to be my Saturday. We, we didn't really do anything. We drove to Greensboro, drove back. Now we're getting pizza and we're probably just going to go home. And Kendall's probably going to go out tonight. And I am going to be right in the house, okay? Excuse me. Y'all pray for me, y'all. I can't take this much longer now, Lord. Especially if they want me to wait. Or, excuse me, if they keep her in there till 42 weeks, I can't wait five weeks, y'all. I literally cannot do it. I'm so tired. I can't.